Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have Google Chrome version 122 rolling out, and Google pushed this latest release out on the 20th of February, which was once again late yesterday in my part of the world. Now, most of the so-called new features for version 122 are taking place under the hood or behind the scenes, so to speak. And over and above that, we also get the all-important security fixes that have rolled out with version 122. Now, because we are now on a four-week release cycle, we can expect the so-called new features or front-facing features to be a little bit less than they were when Chrome was previously on a six-week release cycle. But nonetheless, to double-check if you have this latest version, we head to our main menu, Help about Google Chrome, and after this update has been applied, the browser will be sitting on version 122.0.6261.58 or 0.57. So 57 or 58 means you're up to date with version 122, and that applies across Linux, Mac, and the Windows platforms. Now, just to focus quickly on the security fixes that have rolled out, we get 12 security fixes that have been made available and that's quite numerous because um, the security fixes do roll out on a weekly basis for Chrome. So 12 security fixes, quite a lot going on uh, in the security side of things. And there are no zero days that have been exploited in the wild. But nonetheless, uh, we do get two high risk vulnerabilities, which is your level just below critical. And once again, those high risk issues are common exploits in the Chromium based web browsers like out of bounds, memory access and use after free, which are basically addressed on a weekly basis, especially use after free, which is a common exploit in the open source Chromium project and the Chromium browsers. So as mentioned, 12 security fixes, two of those are high risk, and then we get a couple of mediums and a couple of lows. Now with the security side of things out the way, just to focus on what's new. Now, first of all, if we head over to incognito mode, private browsing, and um, they've now provided a clearer explanation of how incognito mode works and i have posted on this previously so if you are using the private browsing in chrome on a regular basis google has updated this uh, description of what is happening when you actually use incognito so that's a small little change taking place with private browsing now as mentioned um google is continuing to roll out the ai related features which are on a gradual rollout um and if we head over to Chrome Canary quickly, um, I'm still not seeing the I'm still not seeing the experimental AR uh, that's um, been tested in preview, especially in uh, Chrome Canary, an early preview version of the browser. I'm still not seeing this rollout in the stable version. Uh, there's no trace of this yet in the stable version, although Google has mentioned in blog posts that they would be um, rolling out. AR related features um, in the next couple of versions. I'm still not seeing this in my region, so you may have better luck than me, you may have not, but nonetheless. But um, one of these new uh, features, which they are rolling out, um, uh, Google has said that they should start rolling out to version 122, is a feature called Help Me Write. Now this hasn't rolled out um, in my region as yet because I still don't see any AR related features, but if you do, I mean, I'm just going to use a screenshot um, which will get the job done. Uh, yeah, you can see that when you write, um, when you write on a text box or a text field, um, you'll be able to select help me write, which is an AR feature and, and, and that'll help you to get started. So basically what you do is you type a few words and then Chrome will write a longer and properly formatted draft for you using AR. But as mentioned, this hasn't rolled out in my region as it, and no AR features have rolled out in my region as it in the stable version. Although Google has said that um, over the next couple of versions, they will start rolling out more AR related features. So as mentioned, you may have better luck than me in that department. Now moving on to another um, so-called new feature. And I have posted on this previously. And for this one, we're going to head back to our settings and we're going to navigate to privacy and security and the security page. Now, with Chrome 122, um, Google is also introducing some changes to how safe browsing works. And safe browsing, by the way, in case you're unaware, basically protects you against downloads and extensions that are known to be dangerous. And standard protection is set by default. And uh, um, I per personally use um, the enhanced protection on a day-to-day -day basis. I've just changed it, to change it to standard protection for the purpose of this video. So basically what they've said is that um, 
In previous versions, the site could be blocked if it, is, if it is known to be distributed malware or cause other security issues. So that's what happened as an example in Chrome version 121. Now starting with Chrome 122, web pages will start loading before the safe browsing check is complete, which according to Google should speed up browser performance. And what they're also calling this is an asynchronous mechanism. So that's the official terminology for this um, new improvement to safe browsing, which basically at the end of the day will allow sites to load even while real-time checks with safe browsing servers are in progress, according to a, a Google blog post. And Google says that they do expect this to reduce page load time and improve user experience as real-time server site checks will no longer block a page load. Although if a site is found to be dangerous after the page loads, then a warning still will be shown and that's quoting that from that blog post so a couple of improvements going on with safe browsing and the long and the short of that is google is trying to increase the, the browser's performance when you are using the safe browsing and one of the standard or enhanced protections and then another little improvement that has rolled out um chrome 122 also has improvements for web gpu now just to mention this uh, quickly um Basically, WebGPU is a next-generation graphics API, and this is a change taking place under the hood. And basically what it does is it offers GPU acceleration for contemporary 3D graphics and computation. So um, according to reports, WebGPU is the latest technology that gives you the immersive so-called experience of using your local GPU, that's your graphics processing unit, to render graphics and perform computations from web apps. So basically it's a new and next generation graphics APR that should uh, give you better, for better performance when it comes to graphics and computation tasks and web applications. So that's more or less, guys, what's new in Chrome version 122. As mentioned, a lot of the um, fixes and so-called features are taking place under the hood. And as mentioned, still not seen any of the experimental AR features that are still in preview, which Google says should start making their way uh, into Chrome 121, 122, and maybe 123 or 124. We will see more of those AR features, but um, go check it out. Maybe you have the, the um, Help Me Write, which I still haven't received yet in my region. And we are also expecting Brave, the next major version upgrade of Brave to roll out um, later this week. And we are also expecting Microsoft Edge to start rolling out possibly Thursday moving into the weekend. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.